the entrance antiphon. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Release me from the snare they have hidden for me, for you indeed are my refuge. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great to you and peace of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, every day when I celebrate Mass, I always encourage you to, the, to remember that we are all our sinners and we need God's mercy and forgiveness. So every day we go to church, we ask God to pardon all of our sins. And we also need God in our daily life. So we ask God to grant our request, whatever we need, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to and you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, in my, thought, in my in words, word, in what I have done, done, done and what, what I have failed to do. Through my, through my fall, fall, through my fall, through my fall, through my most my grievous, most grievous fall. fall. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, I ask Mary, ever Virgin, Virgin, all the, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May all the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, eternal health of believers, hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help, so that with their health restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. <clears throat> Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day, when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flocks at Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks at Shechem. Get ready. I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them at Dothan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, here comes that master dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, we must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, their camels laden with gum, balm, and rosin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother and our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. And be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember, Remember the, the marvels, marvels the Lord, Lord has done. done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, 
he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember, Remember the, the marvel the, the Lord, Lord has, has done. done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember, Remember the, the marvel, marvel the, the Lord, Lord has done. done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember, Remember the, the marvel the Lord, Lord has, has done. done. May Almighty God open your heart, your mind, in order for you to proclaim the gospel for people to hear in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to his tenants and went on a journey. When the vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce, but the, far remnant, or, but the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir, come, let us kill him, and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and leave his vineyard to the other tenants, who will give him the produce at the proper time. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in Scripture the stone? that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard this parable, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings today kind of, each of them, are, there's a lot of similarities, but one of the main themes that run through each of them is the jealousy that people can have for somebody who is a favorite. And, uh, and so therefore, in the first reading, we have... Uh, uh, Joseph, who was sent by his father, uh, Joseph was the youngest of the 12 tribes of Israel. And so the other brothers were jealous of him because he was going to be the heir you know, to all, all that they had, I guess. And so Joseph was not on that, uh, did not attend the sheep in the field that uh, the other brothers were doing that day. So the father sent Joseph to them. And that's where their jealousy kind of just rose to the top and they plotted to kill him. Um, they averted that by Reuben, and they threw him into a cistern. But yet, in the end, uh, they saved him in a, in a way. They sent him on to, they sold him as a slave to the, the Ishmaelites, and they took him to Egypt, where 
the irony of the whole thing is in, in the end, that Joseph was the one who saved that family as they all had to move to Egypt in there to begin that 400 years because of this famine that was going on. And so Joseph, in the end, saved his brothers, you know, and all the rest of the Israelites. So the jealousy kind of came back to them in the end uh, and, and haunts them. In the gospel, we have a, 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 the tenor, or the, or the owner of the land, the, God the Father, who giving us a chance to build his kingdom here on earth and produce fruit. And uh, so he takes care, he, he, he provides the world that they need to do that. The, you know, the vats, the, the, the tower and the, the grapes and so on. But still, when there came time to give over the produce that the father, he gets a share of it, he's not taking it all. The tenants of the uh, vineyard become jealous and they kill all the servants that come to them and they, that would be the prophets that were sent to us today, you know, and back then. And then finally he sends a son whom they kill anyway. So there's a lot of jealousy going on just because they didn't want to, you know, they had every right to produce abundant fruit, but they just wouldn't want to share. And in the end, Jesus becomes the cornerstone or the, the thing that was rejected that we need to be to uh, enter our uh, heavenly reward. One neat thing there about the cornerstone, I don't know if you guys, when you come in and out that door over there, take a look at the cornerstone and it's the, the architecture of the church is supposed to always remind us of different things. And I always look at that, at that cornerstone uh, and it was supposed to remind us that this church or the, the church that we live in was built on that cornerstone and Jesus is that cornerstone. And one of the two thoughts about it, you can see at the very top of that arch there, there's a keystone. And Jesus is the keystone that keeps the roof up. And then if, as you're outside, if you look at the very top outside, there's, there's the capstone. And the capstone is a cross. And Jesus is the capstone of our church. So those are just, those are just kind of thoughts to think about. But as far as today goes, we have to look at ourselves. God has given us a chance to work in his vineyard and our own, be the tenants of it. And we need to understand, are we producing the, the good fruit? He's set it up so that we can make all kinds of grapes and wine and so on. But uh, he's going to want his share. And uh, it's our opportunity to, to uh, work with God instead of being against him. And uh, so we th need to think about how are we doing in our, in our vineyard that God has given each one of us to work in? Are we producing the good fruit and the wine? And are we jealous? Are we going to, that Jesus or God demands a part of that back? And uh, do we give him the honor that he deserves? In the end, we'll have to remember that uh, he, Jesus is that cornerstone. God is that cornerstone that we need to make sure that uh, other people know that uh, the kingdom of God is at hand. Loving, merciful God, every day of our life, we, want to, we would like to say to you, thank you, and we ask you to listen to our problem that we face in our daily lives. We pray for Pope Francis, and especially today as he is on his journey to Iraq. May the Holy Spirit continue to uphold and strengthen him as he shepherds God's holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold positions of leadership, May the Lord's gracious mercy bear great fruit in the lives of the in lives of service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are facing difficult decisions. May God grant them the wisdom they need for their discernment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the elect who are preparing for baptism and entrance into the church this Easter. May the light of Christ guide them on their journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, marked by the sign of faith. May they soon be brought to the everlasting peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for your intentions that you bring here today. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, would you please grant our request, especially for your church, help your church to be holier, your priests, our religious brothers, sisters, deacons, our bishop, bishop over the world, and our Pope to live a holy life, follow you fresh of our life, and help us to love our vocation. And for people who are sick who need your healing power, would you please hear them, heal them. And the family have problems, like St. Joseph Pope in the Old Testament, would you please Medic, med, uh, would you please uh, interfere, help them to love each other, forgive one another, and also for um, peace in our own country, over the world. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, and God of all creation, for though your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, and God of all creation, for though your goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. wash my sins. Praise my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy name. Seeing the moment of our life unfold, O oh God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we employ your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill that have been answered for them in their danger. We may be rejoiced as their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For you will that our self deny should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. May it's holy, therefore, this gift we pray by standing down your spirits upon them later they all fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered when led to his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for it is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and one more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, if we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of light, the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have powered worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis and Bishop Quack and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have lead you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, and we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gradually when her peace and unity are according with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. Lamb of God, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. For only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The communion prayer. God loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins.
host by the power of God put into hell Satan and the all evil spirits who brought about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, only suppose of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thank be to God. Thank you all for being here this morning and have a good weekend.